one by one. She made all who knew her feel safe and loved. Each small flag tells a story. The best big brother a little sis could ever want. More than 660,000 of them unfurling into a sea of white. She wanted to grow up and be a mommy and was a mother to everyone she met. One for each life lost in America to COVID-19. He died the day after Father's Day. Spreading out on the National Mall in Washington, D.C., this display of pandemic loss is called In America, Remember. This is a national tragedy. Artist Suzanne Brennan Furstenberg created the installation. I was upset because people didn't seem to realize the amount of deaths that were happening. And so I wanted, as a visual artist, to make it indeed visual. We met up with Suzanne at her artist studio in the days leading up to the memorial's installation. We have section markers that we have to organize. We have, most importantly, flags to write. People are sending us flag dedications from all across the country. Inside the studio, volunteers carefully write onto each flag the name of someone lost in the pandemic along with a dedication submitted on a website by loved ones. Died from COVID-19 on December 28th. Loving mother, grandmother, sister, aunt, friend. Your siblings miss you very much. You were the best aunt. But you provided enough love to last until we meet again. When I planned this art, I bought 630,000 flags. And I bought those just in June. That's how much this has changed. A week ago, I ordered another 60,000 flags. It's an art installation that Suzanne says continues to grow, with more flags added by the day to the more than 660,000 now planted here. More than just a number, never forgotten. That really gets to the heart of why I created this in the first place. You know, people aren't just numbers. For those who can't visit in person, a website allows people to look up a name and find the exact location of where a flag is planted. It's a way of creating permanence to a temporary exhibit that will wrap up on October 3rd. There is no place for people to go to mourn. And as well, there's no place that really accumulates or aggregates our total loss. And so this, being on the National Mall, marks that. It gives us that place. At least for now. In Washington, I'm Maya Rodriguez.